I'd just like to spend a moment or two talking about some of the counting beads that are available and how to make the best use of them. So you might like to just look down at the, this set I have here. And the first thing that you'll notice is that they're in groups of five. And uh, there appears to be a lot of thought around the idea that uh, young children will anchor on the idea of five. So clearly you can do some basic things uh, with some counting beads. For example, simply just counting. So as I move each bead from left to right, you'll notice that I'm counting one, and then two, and then three, and so on. So I can use the five counting principles there that we know. For example, that each word I say is associated with one bead. And then the last word that I say, in this case it was three, gives me the total for the whole set of beads. So that would be counting in ones from a particular number. I could work the other way. So I could have my beads on the other side and then count back in ones. So from 20, now I'm down 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, and you'll notice that it gives me a nice break at the fives. We're going to look at a couple of other examples. For example, the Australian curriculum suggests that we count from any number. So I'm going to move three. So I'm happy there's three. So now the count will begin at four. So remind the kids, how many have we counted already? Three. So where does the count begin? Four. So then we count four, five, six, and so on. So they're just a couple of things that we can do with the counting. We'll look at a few other little ideas in a minute.